James Sabalski. This series has been sensational to this point. Let's see if it continues tonight. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Puts it on net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. And another stop. Nissen Kent's got the puck along the wall. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the official's call. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, and you wind up with a tripping call. Kavarovsk sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Rivermen have gained possession. There it is! The play play goal in the back of the end. Well, these below the goal line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Kavarovsk's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there hasn't been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Got to hope that there's some more offense in this one. Bob Cobb's going to keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. Tries to feed it across. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Time left in this frame. Kabarovsk's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Gains the zone through center. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! Good save! Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Nissen Kent's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. On the attack along the boards. A chance for the first. Scores! And just like that, they take that momentum away. Well, that's a huge shift. I mean, listen, their opponent scores, and instead of allowing them to build the confidence on it, they stomp it out right away. That's exactly what you want to do if you want to be a competitive team. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Slick feed. Well, that brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Both teams are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. 
second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? These Nikamps trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game and they haven't had any possession time. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Broadhurst, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Whoever has the hole in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. And he takes the feed. Scooped up along the wall by Shevich. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Korshkov's got it in the offensive zone. Kabarovsk's playing it from the side. Denies the slapper. A shot. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Here they come on the attack. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Kabarovsk's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. And the puck clears the zone. Kabarovsk stained the line and into the zone. Driving right to the front. That's a great slot shot. Kabarovsk extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Puck picked up by Shevich. Takes a wrist shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And that's taken by the defense. That opportunity is rejected. Scores! Kaboom! What a shot! Nobody was stopping that one-timer. Everyone is so focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. Nizzy Kemp's finally pushed back here in period number two. Shows you how quickly a game can change, James. Halfway through the game, and the opponent really has led the charge. And then you get that goal, and you have the opportunity to put them on their heels as you get within one. Great stuff there in that last shift. In close! Oh, what a paddle save on the play! Nizzy Kemp's got the puck along the wall. And that's poked away by Tron. Just wide! Quick pass to Yakupov. Stopped by the goaltender. They are really poor on the pressure here. There's a collision. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James. But, man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Lee's crossed the line and came the zone. Nissen Kemp's got the puck along the boards. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment.
Welcome back. James Sadowski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Show your assessment so far. Miss McCam's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I and mean, when it's on, there's tickets like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, our opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. They've got to do something when they get the puck, and they've got to be confident with it. Quick feed to D. Great poke check on the reach. And that shot dies in traffic. Missing kids got possession here in the offensive zone. Playing big in the moment there. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Kurgan shots going off to the box for two minutes. puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. And the power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. A chance to get it out. The Nationals take it across the line. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. On a four-on-four, on four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Pass in front, and that's intercepted. And the PK unit gets it done, preserving the one-goal lead. Well, and you have the player in. Well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be to task and kill this off. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Puck move back to center, forcing them to regroup. Sokolov's got it against the boards. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And a quick save on that one. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Puck exits the zone. Trying to gain a step. What a save on the play! Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Executive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Chance in front, and that's stopped. From off the wall and onto a stick. Quick last. Turns it aside with the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Nationals win it. And he takes the pass. Denies him! Bob Cost got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. 
Here's a shot. possession they've been behind all game but they've clawed their way back with good habits and they find themselves at an even score Nizzy Kemp's leveled the playing field with that big time goal here in the third and usually at the late stages of a game like this when it's tied the victor is the one that goes for it and knows that they have to find a way to execute. If you're too worried about making a mistake, you're going to sit back and you're going to have the game taken to you. Takes a shot. And that goes wide of everything. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Stones him in front. Now leadership comes in different ways and typically he scores on these opportunities and he elevates his entire team. Well, the goaltender shut the door and didn't allow it to happen. Taking the penalty at the end of the third period when it's a tie game is a tough one. If they want to get to OT, they're going to have to kill it off. Kabarovsk's got a huge opportunity on this power play. Nissen Kent's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Moves the puck to Draws. There's the horn for regulation, and it solves nothing. Overtime coming up. <sighs> OT should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. Missing Kent's penalty killers have their work cut out for them here, but a nice start to the period as they win the draw. The point of a power play, James, is having an advantage, and there has been none right here. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. How are they coming up here? Everyone has a role on their team, and this PK unit right now in overtime has to do a job if they want to remain in the game. sense of urgency for this man advantage unit as they go back to work. Well, another penalty in overtime. That's a two-player advantage for the opponent. And Pique just have to survive this one. Oh, a good heads-up play with the poke check. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. tradition in sports here, Cheryl. Well, I love it as well. I mean, you're showing respect for your teammates and your opponents after a hard-fought battle. Yes, on one side it's tough, and on the other it's great, but I think it's well done. Trying to win the Prince of Wales trophy, no easy feat, but this isn't the hardware they want, Cheryl. No, it's not. Listen, this is a step, a cog in the wheel, if you will, to get them to the Stanley Cup final, but you know that's going to be the hardest series, the toughest one to claim the prize. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.